Okay, so let's try the the Pittsburgh diagonal cutters in this one instead of the flush, just to see. Um, I can recommend the needle nose pliers uh, from uh, Pittsburgh. Can definitely recommend those. Can uh, definitely recommend the flush cutters. So now we're going to go ahead and try the um, diagonal cutters. Let's just see. Ooh. I mean, they're better than these. They're better than the Mr. Pen ones. Mis these, no good. These are better. Um, I mean, they're not bad. I, I, I could use them. I could use these and be okay. Are they as good as these? Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, so I'm going to use the Cousin tools right now, except for the flush cutters. Those I'm going to stick with, these things here. So um, we're on to the last part of this wing. Just going to do this side and match it up with that side. And I got to tell you, I really love these. These are nice. A lot nicer than these ones. Although these have lasted a long time and surprising because these come out, these slide out like that. And I'm surprised they've lasted so long. As you can see, I'm not gentle at all. Not gentle. This is, you know, I use some heavier duty. This is the uh, 16 gauge, but the 14 gauge I use with it all the time. And this is my favorite little twister. Grab the end like that and literally just twist. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Kind of a awkward angle here for me, but that's literally how I do it. Nothing special. And now I want to match 
push it up to this. Honestly, this one. Okay, wings are formed. Okay, so this is the 18 gauge wire. And this is the wire that I like to use on the body. It's a little bit thinner. I like the thicker stuff on the outside of the body, you know, in case you grab it or something, it just, it's better. So it's stronger. So this is good for the body. I'm gonna do the same steps as before. And this time I'm gonna use the Cousins, my favorite one. So I didn't realize I didn't have my camera running when I made the halo, but I just wanted to show you guys that it's made out of twisted tin copper wire, 20 gauge, and this is going to also, the halo is also going to serve as the hanger for the angel, and I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. And I also want to let you know that this wire is available for sale on my website, the 20 gauge and the 14 gauge, so hopefully you guys will go over there and check that out. Now comes the fun part where we get to attach all the pieces. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tin um, the edges of my glass with, I'm using, uh, I think this is 50-50 solder, but it's just what I had open. Um, I like to use 50-50 or 60-40. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tin all the sides and then we're gonna go ahead and attach all of our wire.
Okay, so in closing really quick, I just wanted to go over some of the tools that I used in the video today. Um, the Mr. Pen tools that I ordered off of Amazon, those weren't very good. Not for this type of work. This is more heavy duty type of work. Those might be good for something later, but not for this. Um, these Pittsburgh tools, uh, you can find these at Harbor Freight. They are much less expensive. Um, they're not the greatest, but they will work. They're good at least for getting started. So you can find those there. I'll put the link for those in the description below. Um, the Pittsburgh Microflush uh, cutters are my absolute favorite. I am selling these on my website. Um, you'll find them on there. Again, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, so these are on there. I highly recommend these. They're in my toolkit. Um, these also were awesome. The uh, nylon jaw wire pliers. These things are great. Uh, these are in my toolkit as well, and I am selling these on the website as well. Um, and also, this is the kit that um, is available on my website. It's the same cousin uh, jewelry toolkit that I used in my video today. So I just want to say that those are the tools that I recommend, and that is what I'm offering um, to sell on my website. So I want to thank everybody again for joining me today, and I hope that um, you were all able to get something out of this. If you have any questions or suggestions, comments, whatever, please leave them below, and I will do my best to answer everybody. So thank you all so much for joining me today, and I hope that you all have a beautiful day.